Stella. And good morning to you guys, and welcome to the vlog. I tell you what, I love starting my days just with my animals, and I hope to start your day is incredible too. Bella is an absolute treat, I tell you what. And that's the thing that's so amazing. I've told you guys this so much about being around these animals at the Reptarium, and uh, we have so many amazing new animals in store to share with you guys. I wish I could share with you right now, but I want it to be a surprise, you know? We're working on so many cool things, and of course, just walking through this door here, it's just like, it still gives me the tingles every day like this this new place is coming together it's amazing look at ivy over here oh my gosh again the water will clear up you know it's just going through the back here thing but she literally loves it I would say she's spending about 80% of her time in the water makes me so happy I think tomorrow we're actually gonna try to feed her for the first time I don't even know how it's gonna go you know I don't know what she's gonna do when I feed her in the water so it's gonna be amazing uh, like I mentioned so many new animals coming in over the next week or so so uh, buckle up it's gonna to be amazing you know this turtle pond is coming together so good the water is finally clearing up the water temperature is good we're gonna hang a mercury vapor bulb here just so that they can get UV and heat as well in a basking area but I've been wondering what turtles are gonna do here I have about six or seven turtles for this pond but I think I'm gonna bring a couple over right now and put them in here and just see what happens all right, excited to have these turtles for sure. It's uh, again, it's uh, that kind of vision of a turtle pond and seeing it kind of come to fruition. I couldn't be happier with the way it actually looks. You know, kind of bringing the old reptarium into the new reptarium. But really, how the animals like it is more important than anything. Again, we'll get some basking lights and stuff like that. This is just kind of the test. So I'm going to let them go. I'm assuming they're going to do some basking up here. So that's probably where we'll do the light over here. There's a couple other places, but I'm just going to go ahead and let these guys go and see what happens. I think I'm going to maybe put them on here so that they can make their own decision and let them come into the water on their own. I'm not 100% sure. We'll set them like this and we'll just kind of wait to see what they do and uh, see them kind of cruise into the thing again. They're like, what is going on? Just a lot of water for them. Oh, one went in the water already. Oh, one to the water. Where'd he go? He's gone. <laughs> Some of this bubbling will probably subdue just a little bit. We've already conditioned the water. There doesn't seem to be any issues there. But uh, as something like the biological filter starts to build, it just becomes more better. It usually takes you know up to a month for a real good ecosystem to kind of happen. So uh, that turtle is, uh, he, he found his way. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, yay! It's gonna be in the water too. Oh my gosh. Again, we're getting one more light over here as well, so this will be lit up even more so that you can see all the way in it. But uh, I tell you what, guys, it's, it's kind of wild because they went inside there and then they just disappeared. I mean, literally, I don't even know where they are. This one's just kind of still hanging out on the top over here. This one was over in the corner, but I don't see it anymore. <laughs> Once we get seven or eight turtles in here, you'll always see some coming. And again, if we get a basking light right here, I'm sure they'll be up here basking quite a bit. Uh, but the idea is once they get settled in, we can have people come and actually feed them. I think kids will love to feed the little turtles for sure. So uh, this is awesome. I mean, I, I'm just going to hang out and watch this for a while and see if they come back up uh, so I can actually see them swimming around. Uh, this is epic. They're going to climb in with ivy here. And you know, animals actually react differently when they're in a different environment. So ivy has been pretty amazing as far as handling and just socialization. But now she's spending so much time in the water, I really don't know how she's going to react if I try to take her out or do anything. Now, I'm not going to take her out of the water, but I want to just interact with her for a minute and see how she reacts. You know, if I go in here, is she going to be super defensive or is she going to be even more calm because she's in a happy place? I think it's amazing that she's spending so much much time here so let's just go ahead and give this a shot I you okay girl you all right baby oh yeah she seems fine I mean she's got a perfectly disposition right now you can see her tongue response is real slow she's not showing any aggression she feels really warm too this water is nice and warm and look at she just dips right out come on big girl Oh, she loves this water. I can't wait till it gets super clear so people can really see her once we open up on the 13th. So 
Wow, that's going to be amazing. But I'm so glad to see that she hasn't changed her disposition at all as far as handling and stuff like that. That way we can take her out. Again, I'm thinking tomorrow we're going to probably try to feed her, which I think will be really cool. So uh, that's awesome. That way when we do want to take her out, we don't have to worry about getting bitten by her. I was a little concerned about this, to be honest with you. Couldn't be happier with the results. Remember yesterday we actually had our pied veil chameleon? Actually, I, we found one slug and then she was buried. I couldn't even find her. Well, I see her moving around now, which means she came out from her place over here uh, and she had obviously some slug eggs. So I wanted to leave her alone because, you know, sometimes those slug eggs can actually bind up in them. So I wanted to give her as much time as she needed, but I see her out now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab her real quick, make sure she looks good. She looks like she laid all of her eggs for sure. Take a look at her. Her. I mean she definitely doesn't have anything inside her I can feel around and stuff like that she looks really good so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look real quick yep totally good now the good news is now that she's laid a clutch of eggs like this I can actually put her in with my male Raul the veil chameleon and we can actually hopefully get some good viable eggs and hatch some chameleons although they take like nine months to hatch so it's a long incubation I'm just gonna dig around in here a little bit and see if I can find where she might have buried the eggs but I hate to do this but I'm gonna have to take a couple things out of here. Oh, I see one. Oh, here we go, we got one egg here. We got two eggs. Again, these are infertile, so I'm not worried about the eggs themselves. I'm just worried, here we go. Here, it's a bunch more eggs. I found her nest. So she's got a bunch of eggs right here. So she basically buried herself right over by that pot where she felt really good. And it was crazy because I literally couldn't even find her. Oh my God, there's a bunch of eggs. We're definitely gonna breed her now and get all these good eggs. I couldn't imagine. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. Look at all these eggs. Again, these could all be little babies if we breed her, which we're definitely gonna do. This is crazy. I cannot believe how many eggs there are here. There's one, two, three more. I can't even imagine. We found one yesterday. So we gotta add one to this mix, but holy, Camoli. There's still one more here. I just keep finding them. They just can't stop. There's still more. There's still what? You have to be kidding me right now. This is insane, guys. More, more. Another one. Another one. Another one. My gosh. I thought she was gonna have like maybe 10 eggs. It's like she's got like a hundred. Yeah, I think we have them all, guys. Oh, no, nope, one more. No. Nope. Nope, yep, one more here. Now I think we have them all. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. So this is insane, I, I couldn't have imagined. Again, we're gonna go ahead and breed her, but she had one yesterday, so that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 52, 54, 55, 56, 57 eggs. She had 57 eggs. I, I, you know, I'm not a chameleon expert. I didn't even know they could lay 57 eggs. 57 eggs. We are definitely breeding her. And again, she's a translucent, so she's like a pie. So that's a recessive mutation. So all the babies will be normal veils that are het for translucent. 57 eggs, people. Wow, I'm blown away. What up? Hey. Dude, is the camera on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. You need to, dude. I'm stressing out, bud. <laughs> Why it's cool. You? Listen, I like taxidermy as much as the next guy does, okay? This is sick. I really want to get this as my tax return. I can't decide. What is it? You know There's what, when you start buying squirrel? stupid stuff with your tax return. That one's kind of cool, let's see. But then this one, it says whatever, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And it's bench pressing, pressing the <laughs> rat trap. It's taxidermy, you guys. This one's the best one though. It's a flashing rat. 
<laughs> He's flashing. I want it. Why do I want it so bad? You think you know someone, okay? <laughs> really quick, I'm gonna hit you guys with two little pieces of spam. Remember, the opening weekend is Friday the 13th, March, Friday the 13th. Come hang out with us. The Reptarian will be open. We'll be having a great time. Also, do me a favor, of course, for you guys that know, I started a podcast called Checking In. Put a link in the description. Please go show that some love, subscribe, stuff like that. Wednesdays, we have Checking In with the whole fam. Fridays, Eric and Noah, completely hilarious. So go show those things some love. Come hang out with us on the Reptarium the weekend of the 13th. Of course, little baby caiman lizards often eat snails in the wild. So we've been feeding cat food and stuff like that, but we finally got some snails, so we're gonna see if they wanna eat. You guys wanna eat, buds? Go ahead. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> that one definitely crushed it. So this one definitely loved the snails, which is cool, right, Mary? That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, the other one actually, you said likes cat food? Really loves the cat food, so. All right, so at least the one's eating cat food, the other one now is eating snails really good, so we'll give them a lot of variety and stuff like that. And again, this is the temporary setup for it. We're gonna do something really cool aquatic next door when we get the reptarium going over there, but uh, they are absolutely wonderful. You guys know that I'm like a kid on Christmas morning when it comes to all this stuff, and uh, I was working on the iguana cage, obviously. The temperatures are actually dialed in. I'm not even sure if we need the mercury vapors because the temperatures are getting so good. I'm not putting these guys in permanently because I'm going to spend at least a week on that enclosure getting everything dialed in. But uh, I just want to see what Diddy's going to do. Come on, Diddy. What are you doing still? You want to step up to me? Come on over here. Oh, looks like Dixie wants to come too, but I'm just going to take Diddy. I'm going to I'm going to bring him back in a minute, Dixie. I promise. Don't you worry. Let's just see what he's going to do in there. I want to see. He's going to get lost in this cage. He's just going to be so small for this big cage. I just want to get an idea of what he's going to do. Where is he going to run around? What's he going to think? Up you go. Up you go. What do you want to do? Dude, what are you thinking? <laughs> Look at him in there. <laughs> that is so absolutely dope. And that's the whole idea. Is I'm hoping that when we come, he's going to either come up here or come down here because Diddy's like my dog, right? As soon as we open the cage, he runs right over to us. But uh, have some fun. Play, little buddy. Where are you going, Sealy? Hi, Sealy. Oh my God, he looks so cool. I'm gonna look at him outside. I gotta go see what this looks like. Look at that! Oh my God, that is so dope, man. People are gonna be able to come up and see him like that. Again, I'm gonna let him run around for maybe just a few minutes and I'll take him back over. I don't wanna put him in here permanently. Obviously, we gotta still dial things in, but uh, that that is amazing. All right, so it's time to feed Lucy, but my buddy Jay that's doing the shelves next door, he's gonna get the honor today. She's not in a good mood, so let's hope things work out. I'm going in. I'll pull you Ready? Yep, you can go in. There you go. Good job. Hey, Jay, you're like a pro, man. Yeah, just like you're saying. That's what I got out Oh. That's okay, it's okay, it's alright, it's good, we're good, we're good. Woo. There it is. Nice, huh? <laughs> Everyone lived, right? Yep. Alright guys, good. Way to go. Super excited to tell you guys that the Pied Vale Chameleon that laid all the eggs is crushing food. She ate a bunch of food. We're just leaving her alone, letting her de-stress. But the fact that she's eating is incredible. Now we can get her in with Raul pretty soon and maybe get some fertile eggs. I mean, how insane. And 57 eggs. Couldn't have imagined that in my wildest dream. Could you imagine 57 little babies hatching? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be ridiculous. So hopefully that'll happen in the future. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. It's been an amazing adventure and your support means the world to me. Can you do me a favor? I started a podcast called Checking In. You can subscribe to that right over there. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Right over here, you can run through a playlist of vlogs. You can subscribe to the vlog channel right here. Turn those post notifications on. Have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.